championship showdown between Matthews and Gilbert Dorino Burns. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is going to maximize it and lead as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and reach. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Walterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, five losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, presenting the challenger, Gilbert Durinho. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 45 wins, 9 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Hillsborough, Illinois, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fight. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. You ready? is underway, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he understood the grappling challenge he was up against. He's not afraid to engage on the ground side. It's a danger that is not worth risking. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. When this fight gets to the ground, you enter his world, especially when it looks like you hold the advantage on the feet. Good stick.
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Got the single collar tie. Leg kick. The Hall of Famer Hughes gets caught with that punch. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh. Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. If that knee might have landed there. Dorino gets the takedown. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Burns passes denied. Under three minutes now to go in the round. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you Nicely down. done. Burns has got full mount now. Oh, the ground and pound is there. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Seconds remain in the round. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Come on, let's go, let's go, finish this, guys, come on. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, that's a nice strike. All right, so a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, nice. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Side control now. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Hughes. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Burns is looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. Lands flush with that right hand. Good job, man. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Round two on the way. Dorino 
gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to fold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Huge block there. And a nice wow. Actually got the takedown. What a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Get side mount, and now maybe the Von Flute choke will be there. Hoven St. Prue has got to like that transition there. He got it. He got it, John. How about it? Gets the win by submission. Beautifully executed there on the ground. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. Well, it's one thing to earn a UFC title. It's another thing to get it done emphatically the way he did tonight. The undisputed UFC welterweight champion, your winner by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at 1 minute, 46 seconds of round number 2. For the winner, by submission, and still! So he came in the best welterweight in the world. Nothing changes tonight. Congratulations to the still UFC welterweight champ. He understands that he is the best fighter in the world at 170 pounds, and he proved that tonight.